welcome to week five of training for Manchester Marathon. Um, I am doing my usual of a recovery run on Monday, but got quite a lot of work to do today. So I am taking the most direct route up to my shop and I'll have to do my top-up miles afterwards. So I'm going to get there and get some work done. See you in a bit. easy two and a half miles on the way up to my shop uh, going to get some work done so we can do the other nine and a half miles to get the daily mileage on the way home so I'll see you in a bit so I've done it again and Left it a bit late to uh, leave the shop. Nowhere near as bad as last week though. I can actually still see. Um, we're gonna have a beautiful sunset by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, I need to get down this road before it gets too dark. So, let's get going. One and a half miles left to go, so let's get this done. Let's go. Is Monday's recovery done? I ended up uh, going to 10 mile on the way back uh, just to uh, make it back home. So a little bit over, but that's all good. And I've got to say that is the best my hip and glute has felt on a run for a long time. So fingers crossed. Uh, what I'm doing is working and it's getting stronger and sorting itself out. Uh, I did it in a fairly tired pair of shoes as well. Uh, these Adi Stars. I think I've done 400 mile in them now. So, yeah, they're getting towards the end of their life. And uh, to be able to feel that good in an old pair of shoes. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So, Monday's done. Tomorrow is training with BNR. So I will try and uh, take my camera down with me again this week and try and capture some of the training. And yeah, week five underway. Oh. So we've just finished Thursday's session. Uh, 
I didn't film any of the session today. Number one, because we're on the track. And number two, I struggled. I'm not gonna lie, really struggled tonight. Um, yeah, it was a track session that uh, did my glute and uh, I was a bit cautious about it. Um, so I was doing my recoveries the opposite way around the track. Um, so we weren't um, going around in circles again and going to damage it again. But um, yeah, it just felt like lead, felt like absolute rubbish. So in the end, I moved to the outside of the track and uh, went uh, the opposite way around and finished off the session. Um, but yeah, uh, feels okay now, now that we've finished the session. Uh, at this pace, doesn't feel too bad, but during the first part of the session, yeah, wasn't good at all. But we'll uh, get these last couple of miles home done, get a bit of stretching done, and uh, hopefully we'll be all right. So let's get home. So it is Friday, and Friday is normally a rest day, but I can't get out tomorrow. Now on Saturday, I've got a mega busy day, so getting the miles in today and have, well, not really a rest day, because I'm going to be super busy, but a bit of a rest day tomorrow instead, and then get out Sunday evening. So let's get this done. evening uh, after the busiest weekend ever I have finally got out for my Sunday long run so couldn't do a run yesterday so I had to do Friday instead uh, so I was busy all day and then I've been busy all day today and finally getting out for my long run at quarter past five in the evening but Look at this sunset we're having. That's amazing. So, yeah, happy to be running in that. Not so happy that it's evening, but never mind. Anyway, so I'm going to try and do a bit of a marathon session tonight. Um, that's if my glute plays ball with me and uh, doesn't go mental like Thursday but yeah if I can I'm gonna try and do three miles warm up um, and then do a mile on mile off marathon pace for 10 miles so five miles at marathon pace and five miles off um, and then a few miles warm down so probably about 15 or 16 if it all goes to plan but yeah I'm trying out a couple of new bits of kit tonight um, one is a pair of split shorts I found at the running show um, normally all the split shorts I've ever had before have never had big pockets and I managed to find a pair of Adidas ones that have a big zip pocket on the back for my phone and then a pocket either side for gels and this camera so I'm going to try them out tonight and see if they will do for Manchester and then I'm also trying out the Adidas Pro 3s so what I think I'll be running the marathon in um, and I've got to say from this first mile I've done man they feel great um, yeah 
built upon the Pro 2s. So fingers crossed, they'll feel just as good in a few miles time. We'll see, but yeah, let's get this warm up done and then we can get into it. Let's go. Right, so I've just done my three mile warm up. Uh, I've just stopped so I can do a few drills, get my legs uh, ready for running at marathon pace. Right, we are ready to go. Target marathon pace, 6.40 a mile. Let's get this done. Right, let's go. Right, that's mile one done. Um, as you can probably tell by the way I set off. Yeah, I set off way too quick. Had to rein it in. Uh, when I looked down at my watch, I was going far too quick, so pulled it back. But I think I've still done that mile a little bit quick. But never mind, we'll keep going. So, mile off. Right, mile two down. I think that one was a bit more sensible, a bit more on pace than the first one. So, another mile off and then we'll get going again. Let's go. Well, this route hasn't worked out very well. I'm about to start mile three of marathon pace. And there's a big hill coming up. <laughs> But let's go anyway. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh man, that mile was interesting, but we got it done. So another mile off. That's mile four done. Oh. My glutes is a bit tight, but it's not too bad. It's been worse. I've done it again. I'm about to start mile five. There's a big hill coming up again. What am I doing? Anyway, oh, we're gonna get it done. Let's go. That was a hard mile. Oh. That hill was tough, but pushed on up here, finished the mile strong, so all good. Oh. Right, sixth and final marathon pace mile for tonight's run. Let's go. Oh, and that's it. Effort miles for tonight done. So nice, easy two miles home. So, first run in the Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro 3. And gotta say, wow, what a shoe! Um, it feels great. I am very, very happy with my marathon shoe choice. So, I definitely will be using this. For Manchester, man, yeah, they're great. Uh, legs feel all right after that 16 mile. Um, yeah, I can't say anything more about them other than fantastic shoe. Um, also, just been thinking about how good I felt within myself as I was on that run. Uh, every marathon I've done in the past. Um, I've always finished with a really bad upset stomach and it's always felt really really bad um, so I'm spending this training block trying to uh, train my gut as well so um, it doesn't feel so bad whilst we're out um, and before run today I had some uh, energy jellies 
then I had some more at 8 mile and then some more at 11 mile no 12 mile yeah and um, I wanted to see how they sat and I tell you what I feel great I can't believe how good my stomach feels after that long run um, so hopefully we are on the right track for that as well so all in all I'm really happy with that run yes I well I haven't looked at it yet but I know that all of my marathon pace my are way faster than marathon pace so I've got that wrong but in general really happy with how that run turned out so yeah another good one in the bag and uh, we move on so week five is done a third of the way through the training block ten weeks to go <laughs> right let's get home So week five is done and we are now a third of the way through the marathon training block for Manchester. Quite a scary thing to say that we're a third of the way through, only 10 weeks left, but it's going well. So let's have a look at the Strava and see what we did this week. So we started with Monday, which is recovery day as usual. Um, and I needed to get quite a bit of work done uh, this day. So I did the short route up to my shop, did two and a half miles up there and did a longer run afterwards. So the longer run was 10 miles um, at an average pace of eight minutes and 22 seconds a mile. So nice and easy, just getting the blood flowing around the legs, doing that active recovery. Um, to recover after the long run on Sunday. Then Tuesday was our first session with BNR. Uh, it was a road session on Arthur Street, um, and Arthur Street is a factory estate loop, which is about half a mile, um, and it's nice and flat, so pretty good for a session. We were doing double loops and then alternating the direction of the loops with about 200 meters recovery in between each double loop. Um, I wanted to go out and do about six minute 30 miles on um, the actual reps, um, but I set out with uh, Patrick and he set off slightly fast and then just got faster and faster as the session went on. Um, so yeah, it ended up being a bit progressive and a bit faster than wanted, but it was decent. Um, so our first rep was at 6.25 mile pace and then our final one was at 5.50 a mile pace. So yeah, faster than I wanted to, but glute felt okay and um, yeah, it, it was a good, good session. S then we move on to Thursday. Um, this was a great day. Um, it was a track session with BNR. Now, it was a track session that caused my glute injury in the first place. So I really wasn't sure about doing track um, on this day, but uh, we got down there and the session was 20 times 200 meters with 200 meters float in between. Um, I thought I'd give it a go and see how I felt. Um, I also didn't want to do all of it the same way round because my glute, I didn't want to um, overwork it too much. So I was doing the 
200 meter reps the correct way around the track and then moving to the outside lane and coming back around uh, the opposite way for my float. Um, and started off okay, but I knew by about rep six or seven that I just wasn't gonna get through the 20. Um, it just wasn't feeling good at all. So managed to get to 10 reps and then moved out of the track onto the outside on a tarmac and did the rest of the session going the opposite way around, uh, going clockwise around the outside of the track uh, to finish off. And my glute felt a lot better going the other way around, um, but it still wasn't great. I mean, if we look at the um, splits, I started off okay and I was at 5.54 a mile pace on that first 200 meter rep, but it just got slower and slower and got down to about 6.30 a mile pace. So yeah, not great. So then I moved out to the outside and my reps were anywhere between six minute mile pace and six minutes 30, six minutes 40 mile pace. So yeah, it really wasn't a great session at all. Didn't feel great after it, um, but we can't always have brilliant days. You're gonna have these bad ones in between. So draw a line under it, call it a bad day at the office and we move on. So, the next day on the Friday, um, Friday is normally a rest day for me, but I had the busiest weekend ever this weekend, so I knew I wasn't gonna go out for my Saturday run, so I had to do it on Friday instead. Um, so, after Thursday session, I decided to go for a nice, easy 12 and a half mile, um, average pace of seven minutes, 57 a mile. Uh, so yeah, nice and easy. Um, I think I slowly sped up as we went through. So we started off at um, eight minute mile, well, 8.51 for the first mile, just getting into the run and then 8.14 for the second mile. So around eight minutes a mile. And then we got down to like 7.36 a mile. So yeah, slightly quicker, but still in that steady range. Um, so not pushing it too much felt a lot better by the end. At the start, my glute felt terrible, but by the end it had loosened up and felt pretty good. So pretty happy with that. Then yesterday had the busiest day ever. I was trading at an event in the morning. Uh, then I had to pack away, go and get my PA and I was doing the music for um, BNR awards evening in the evening. And then this morning had to get up mega early packed the van and I was tra trading at um, a Volkswagen swap meet. So yeah, mental weekend. Um, but I eventually got out for my Sunday long run tonight at um, quarter past five. So it was almost dark when I got out there, but we got it done anyway. Um, 16 miles and my plan was to do three mile warm up um, and get some drills done to get into um, marathon pace mode. And then I wanted to do a mile on, mile off. Um, so mile at marathon pace with a mile float in between. Uh, six marathon pace miles, five float miles, and then a couple of miles warm down. Um, so started off and did those three miles warm up around seven minutes, 30 mile pace. Stopped, did my drills, got ready, and then set off and um, the first marathon pace mile I went off quick uh, I did 625 a mile now this is something I really need to look at I can't be going out at the marathon too quick because I'll blow up before the end and that won't be good at all so I really need to um, regiment myself and get myself running at 640s when I want to do my marathon pace efforts. But um, my legs felt good and the new shoes felt good. So I just went with a quicker pace um, tonight. So 6.25 for the first mile and then a 7.17 for my first float. And then 6.35 for the second marathon pace mile and a 7.05 for the float. 
Then the next, the third uh, marathon pace mile was actually uphill. That just sat where it was in the route. Um, but I did a 6.33, so pretty happy with that. And then a 7.14 for the float. Then a 6.29 and a 7.09 for the float. And then the next marathon pace mile was again uphill. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I managed to sort that route like that, but um, I managed to do a 6.37 on that one so pretty happy then a 708 for the float and then the final marathon pace mile was a 621 then we did two warm down miles at 730 pace so yeah too quick really for my marathon pace miles but my legs felt really good and it was my first run in these so the adios pro 3 what a shoe um Loads of cushioning, really springy, giving you that propulsion. I am definitely using these for the marathon. So mega happy with this shoe choice. Um, yeah. It was a good day. Um, good evening. We've ended the week on a high. So pretty happy with how this week has gone overall. We had that bad day on Thursday, but... Uh, we've finished strong, so all good. Right, if we top up the mileage for the week, we did 12.53 on the Monday, we did 13.24 on the Tuesday, 13.47 on the Thursday, 12.51 on the Friday, and then 16.02 on the Sunday. So in total, we have 67.77 miles for the week so the mileage is creeping up uh, we're in a good place so far in the marathon training block and um, yeah we will keep on pushing it that way and hopefully get up into the 70s and maybe hit that 80 at some point during the block thank you so much to everyone who watches these videos thanks for coming along on this journey with me so far um, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and yeah I really do appreciate every single one of you watching these videos so let's crack on we've got 10 weeks left ready for Manchester so let's go cheers guys